If you're going through a hard time in your life and you want some tips on either how to deal or a little bit of even a motivational pep talk that is going to help you out and hopefully get you through the hard time that you're going through, then this is the video for you. <laughs> Hi Internet Best Friends and welcome back to my sleep bar. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get through hard times. I'm going to be giving you guys my tips and what I learned by going through a lot of, honestly, like a lot of shit in my life. I've also seen a lot of comments from you guys being like, can you talk about how to get through hard times? Can you talk about what to do if you're feeling bad in your life? So let's talk about how to survive going through a tough period in your life. So number one thing that I feel like I found every single time for myself is that, and this is is not exactly the advice but I'm going to tell you guys like what this is based on <laughs> towards the end of it you don't have to do the same thing as me but this is my example basically in my life there have been a lot of times where I felt really bad I had reoccurring depression ever since I was in eighth grade but I haven't had it for the last year thank god so when I was in ninth grade it was getting worse and worse I also had to transfer schools and being in a new school having absolutely no friends being freaking emo and having social anxiety anxiety was not the best freaking combination so what i did back then was i made a calendar and i would cross out every single day and i waited until a certain date in that calendar and i was like on this date something has to get better or a different example i also had a matchbox and i would take a match and light it every single day i felt really really bad now this is not exactly what i would tell you to do i would not be like make yourself a calendar or get a matchbox what this tip kind of is give yourself something to look forward to and something to kind of like keep going for even if it's something really really small like oh for my next birthday i'm going to get myself the guitar that i always wanted so i can learn how to play it and maybe start writing songs or it can be something like if you're in high school and it really sucks and you hate it either summer break or graduating high school but basically like setting some kind of points or something that is in your future that you can look forward to that can keep you going but at the same time while you're keeping on going i know the first thing to go is usually everything that you used to do for your mental health like i know when i feel bad i don't want to wash my hair i don't want to get out of bed i don't want to journal i don't want to meditate i don't want to work out i basically like stop keeping up with any of the things that actually used to make me feel really good and any of the things that logically like even though you don't think about it in the moment actually benefit you a lot when you do them in your life like working out is scientifically shown to actually promote feeling more happy because it increases dopamine and I think it's serotonin I'm not sure but I definitely know that it does release endorphins and meditation also has been shown to have a lot of positive effects on making you feel more happy in your life so as hard as it is and I know I'm still struggling with this tip myself but try to keep up with your systems that keep your mental health in check and speaking of the systems one of those things that i know a lot of people are going to roll their eyes about but if you're anything like me you're going to listen to me well if you don't know me you probably want to just like click out of this video now but just stay here for a second like give me a chance basically what helps me the most when i'm feeling really bad is either i just freaking like turn on my photo booth and i talk about everything that's on my mind i can literally just like sit there and freaking like cry for two hours it kind of like really lets you release your emotions and at the same time it lets you understand your feelings more because when you're talking about it you're starting to see patterns and what might be the possible cause of you feeling that way or if you already know the cause you might actually see like oh maybe like there's this kind of like thing that i can do that can work as a solution to this the same thing goes for when you write it down so if you're not really a talking person the best thing that everyone in the world talks about is journaling and it's also something that a lot of people kind of like don't do in a productive way but basically there are different types of journaling that i like to do the first one is honestly just a brain dump when you're feeling like shit just go to your notebook and try to write it out even if it's something like oh i feel freaking terrible on the whole page it still helps because one it expresses your emotions two it puts it on the page and once it's on the page you can look at it more logically but at the same time like if you're that person who just writes like i feel terrible just like me on some pages try to still ask yourself like why do i feel terrible and one thing that i love to do when i'm journaling is 
pretend that I am talking to someone else that feels that way. So basically, I'm pretty much doing my own therapy session. Here's how it goes. I write in one colored pen how I'm feeling, and then I take a different colored pen and I write what I would ask someone if they were telling me that. So basically here, I was feeling really bad and it's like, dear diary, November 8th. So I basically wrote like in one color, like I feel sad. I slept for the majority of the day and now I just feel like shit. So in a different color, then kind of like having a dialogue, I wrote, what is it that is causing me to feel this way? Seeing my ex's story, really nice, or not my ex's. I, I don't know who I'm talking about here, but basically I saw like someone's story because I wrote seeing his story and not being able to sue YouTube. Then I write, are these problems solvable? So that's another question. I answered yes. The first thing that I wrote is he is not worth your peace. And the second thing that I wrote was make a content plan and schedule it for Thursday. But basically you get the gist. It's basically me writing how I'm feeling, asking myself a question. You can do the same thing. Like if you feel bad, you can be like, oh, like what is making me feel this way? And try to think of different things. Then ask yourself, is there a possible solution to this? Or ask yourself, how can I make myself feel better in this moment? There are so many different kinds of journaling. There's like no right or wrong way to do journaling. This is just something that I like to do. Another thing is if I'm like feeling unsatisfied with my life or I'm feeling unsatisfied with myself or who I am, what I like to do is to divide page in two sides and one side is going to be what my life is right now and what I want my life to be. Once I write those two out, I look at the differences and then I journal about how can I actually merge the gap between those two and how can I work on the differences that are there or at least how can I get as close to what I want my life to look like. With journaling, what can be really useful is meditation and meditation has been shown to increase feelings of happiness. There are different types of meditation. One meditation that is really good when you're feeling anxious about something is I think it's called grounding meditation and it's basically where you focus on your breath and focus on the surroundings that are around you, what you can hear, what is the present moment like, which really helps you get out of that like stressing about the future and brings you back into the present moment. And all of this is something I used to always do and it works pretty good. But my biggest mistake that I've always been making in my life is thinking that I can do everything on my own. I hate telling anyone that I'm feeling bad. I hate telling people that, oh, like I'm going through a hard time or basically anything. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, I have no friends or my family doesn't understand me, which hi, same right here. My, my family freaking like, mm -mm. whenever I feel bad, the only person I can talk to is either my best friend or my cousin, but it doesn't have to be your friends or your family. You can also talk to people online, which would that be careful who you talk to, but there are different websites. Like for example, one of my favorite ones was We Heart It, where the community is like really positive. And I used to have a lot of internet friends there. There's also, if you're in high school, your school probably has a school counselor and it can be worth giving it a shot. Sometimes they're really helpful, sometimes they're not. In my school, we had two different counselors. One was incredible. When I switched schools, I literally would go to see her every single Friday, but then that counselor was transferred to a different school. So a new one came and I literally went to him once being like, so I'm feeling really depressed and I literally don't want to do anything. And the freaking advice that that person gave me was set a timer on your phone for 30 minutes, cry, and then do your homework so it can be a gamble but it's worth giving it a shot and with all of this with how much you kind of like try to control situation it is okay to not know what the heck is happening in your life if you are feeling lost right now if you're feeling like i have no idea what i'm doing i have no idea what is happening you don't have to always control everything and it's impossible to freaking know everything i had a craziest most detailed plan for when i graduated high school but then miss rona came and instead of of going to a freaking top 10 college. I ended up actually not even applying to universities, then regretting that, then applying to a random one, then not liking it there, then transferring to any university that had applications open and ending up in a completely different place where I never planned on ending up in. So sometimes no matter how much you feel like I have to know what is going to happen, even if you do, it might end up completely differently. At some point it's going to be more clear then it might get a little messy again but it's just about like cycles of life and the way I like to visualize it is basically when you see I'm going to mispronounce this when you see a cardiogram it 
usually goes like this and every single time it goes up it goes down and that signifies that the person is alive these ups and downs that are constantly there is pretty much a part of life no matter how much we don't like when it goes down every single time it goes down it goes back up usually just as much if not more and a straight line basically means that the person is dead so life is all about these feelings and experiences that we have and at the end of the day all life is at least for me and my personal philosophy is an experience so looking at it that way and being like yeah this sucks right now but it's also an interesting experience i don't know if i explained this well <laughs> and if maybe one of the reasons you're feeling bad is because you're in high school and you have no friends then you can watch this video that i made right here on how to survive high school if you have no friends or if you want to know like how to make more friends you can check out one of my videos on that but if you want to feel more like the main character of your life then definitely watch this video right here and thank you guys so 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 much for watching and i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one bye